Hi, welcome to Jamie Tech Tutorial. Today you are going to learn XPAR Extractor. This is my XPAR Extractor. So how to use this XPAR Extractor? So when coming to XPAR Extractor, if you want to extract something, some value from particular response, then you can use so before using XPAR Extractor, so why this will be useful? Why? Because if you want to test for particular value, whether it is coming proper or not. Okay, using XPAR Extractor, you can just test. And uh, before using Bean Cell Post Processor, this one will be very useful in order to using Bean Cell Post Processor. See. What I have did, I have given the reference name as title, export query I have written and default value I am given. So that value I am using in bean shell post processor. Where stack get title. What is the title I am using? This title I am going to using in bean shell post processor. Okay, for this one you can use export extractor and uh, sometimes what will happen? When you are preparing the JMeter script, so like this, bean shell post processor or any scripts. So at that time, what will happen? You want to use particular values to verify the response data. It is coming proper or not. So at that time, you can use this XPAR extractor. Okay. So if you have seen here, main samples and sub samples, these are the samples I have used. Okay. For the samples, I am using. You can go just right click and add a post processors. You can see export extractor. Okay. This one will be added. It is having sub samples and main sample, including main samples only, sub samples only, geometer variable. Okay. So when coming to use TD tolerant parser quick. See these are options it is having for validating different pages different format what are those so you use td this one if you are using use td what will happen it will be used for html pages validating html pages not useful for x html or xml formats if you want to use xml format you can use this one validate xml okay so when coming to return entire x part this one is a in return x enter x bar fragment instead of text content okay this, this will we will show you in the practical so i have used this log dot info response i want to print this what are the response i am getting see okay this i have printed and let me show you one so that you can understand why we are doing this one see it will printing top 17 its title what are the title i am using here, here I'm using I'm printing in this one log dot info this response okay 17 18 integer questions okay when coming to debug sampler I'm using debug sampler why I'm using debug sampler means so what is the title it is getting see it will display the title top 17 18 integer questions I'm using sample debug sampler for this variety of integer questions Okay, let me explain one more time. Reference name means what are the reference name you want to use to print the particular value. Expert, expert query. So query means which value you want to print in the form of reference name. What is the query you are using? It will print in reference name. Okay. What are the value you want to get using expert query? Default value is if it is not found, then it is not found. Like you can use maximum. So when coming to export query, you can use not only single, you can use multiple queries okay, in order to verify the values. So this one you understood, right? So I'm not ticking this one. Let me check this one. You can understand clearly. If I'm running, so it is showing as SAX parts exception. The string, uh, these two icons, hyphen hyphen is not permitted with its comments. So, 
That's why it is coming is I'm using HTML pages. See, that HTML pages I'm using. This I'm not using this. I choose steady. This one not using this one. It will not get the values of proper this export together. Okay, if you want to test that HTML page, you have to use this steady. So if you have observed here reporting errors and show warnings. If you want to see this one, you can check. No, it is not happening. Okay. See, I have click check boxes this one. Let me run one more time. See now it is there is no error is coming, right? Previously it was coming. Let's click on this one. See a proper request is coming, response data is coming. There is no express assertion error is not coming, right? If you have seen here, see let us loading. If you have seen here, title is start 17 18 interview questions. What are the data and I want to test it is verifying the data. Okay, if you have seen in the log file also, it will display a title. What is the reference name I have given? Title. Start 17 18 interview questions. It is giving the log, it is printing in the log. Okay this one so like this you can use export extractor so if you use this one you can enter express pagina instead of text content see here it is giving you the text content right here also you can see in the log sorry i have uh, cleared so let me run one more time that you can understand let me stop See, it is giving title, top 17 interview questions, title I have given, right? It will give you, will return the value as title instead of normal text. Okay, like this you can use this title. If you have seen here in the log file also, it is giving as title, top 17 interview title in the two tags. Between the two tags, title name is text is coming, right in title. Okay, like this you can use your export extractor in a GMT. Okay, if you like this video, please uh, provide your comments and uh, like and uh, please share with your social media and the friends so that most of the people can learn the real time language example and uh, please uh, subscribe to my videos. Thank you for watching.